fitness industry leaders flexing their muscles, asking governors nationwide to allow them to reopen gyms. More than 60 of them signing an open letter, citing evidence they say proves gyms are not to blame for spikes in COVID cases. I'm no doctor, I'm a studio manager, but from what I've read, the virus is not transferred through sweat. But is it possible to work out safely in a gym? Orange Theory studio manager Chris Cromwell in Miami thinks it is. Keeping things sanitized, keeping your distance, keeping the mask on, I think that these are like leaps and bounds ahead of like what other businesses are doing. Here in Miami-Dade County, gyms were closed again Monday, then reopened by Tuesday, but with restrictions. People, when they go in the gym, they must wear their mask. They must wear their mask all the time. Not all doctors entirely convinced masks alone are foolproof. If you can maintain probably like maybe 12 feet distance, if not more, as well as face covering and again, constant hand sanitizing, it might be safe. The CDC recommends gym goers follow some basic guidelines, limit activities indoors, especially group activities, use social distancing and limit physical contact, take extra precautions with shared equipment, and wear a cloth face covering. So is keeping gyms closed causing more problems? For some, the answer is clear. Super happy because I gained like 20 pounds just sitting at home and eating stuff. The CDC says physical activity can make you feel better, function better, and sleep better. In New York, gyms were supposed to reopen Wednesday, but Governor Cuomo deciding it's too soon. We're ready to open and a little disappointed because today would have been the day that uh, we were raring to go. Now, a group of gym owners is filing a class action lawsuit against the state. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars of lost profits, lost revenue. Carrie, the, the question, of course, is how does that virus spread in gyms and in fitness settings? So do you know, do you know the answer? Well, there are some limited studies, it seems to suggest, in a close area with high intensity, it's more likely to spread. They looked at this very closely in South Korea, but only with small groups, and they found people packed in doing that high intensity. It spread, but in a wider area, more open, it didn't. And kind of interestingly, folks who didn't do high intensity, but more like Pilates and yoga, there was no spread at all. Uh, hey, Namaste. Hey. Hey, Carrie, what's going on behind you there, buddy? What, what, what workout is that? Uh, we're at the CrossFit here, and so they start out doing sort Ooh, of reps. Burpees. They take a run around, they come back. Why? This is uh, CrossFit, <laughs> which is uh, really taken off in, a, in the country in different ways, but it's just mm. one more workout.